Armies on Parade is my absolute favorite Warhammer competition of all time. If you're not familiar with what you have to do, Armies on Parade requires you to make a display for your army and to bring it to Games Workshop with everyone else's displays on parade day to be judged by your friends, your family and the people who come into the store. It's an opportunity to get really creative with the narrative behind your force as well as to stretch all the different skills that make up our hobby. To do well in Armies on Parade, you don't need to know a bunch of rules, you don't need to be an incredible figure painter, and you don't need to have loads and loads of skills in terrain. You just need your imagination, an idea for the narrative of your force, and your army which you'll already be collecting. In my mind, Armies on Parade is the ultimate Warhammer competition. I've been thinking about what project I want to do for Armies on Parade in 2021. I'm looking back through all of the armies and all of the projects that I've made in the past, what went into them, how they went together, and whether or not they worked. The first time I ever entered Armies on Parade, it was 2014 and I used my Raven Guard army. I didn't make the board myself, but I felt that my army had a real cohesive feel and everything was painted the same, and I was really lucky to get the bronze medal for it in our local games workshop. The next time I entered Armies on Parade was 2016 and I entered my Exorcist army based on Grey Knights models. I made the board using a Realm of Battle tile and sculpted the craters on to make it look like they were coming down from above. I was really lucky to get the gold medal for this year. Uh, the next year I failed to enter Armies on Parade. I think I bit up a bit more than I could chew and I made this really elaborate uh, palace themed board with individually painted tiles. Um, it looks really cool but I never managed to finish it uh, and I just didn't think I was ever going to make it look um, how I wanted to to enter it into Armies on Parade. Um, I also that year made this Death Watch board but again I didn't finish it in time and so I wasn't able to enter Armies on Parade which was a real shame. In 2018 I entered Armies on Parade with my Custodes which were and kind of still are one of my favourite armies that I've done. I used a kill team board and some scenery that I made and displayed them really nicely I thought. I'm really proud of this display, um, but the competition in our games workshop that year was incredible and unfortunately I didn't win any medals. But that's absolutely okay, I still put together a really good display and I'm happy with how I displayed it. That brings us to 2019, which was the last time I entered Armies on Braid. I displayed my Nighthorn army that you saw in the clips at the start, and I made the board myself using foam, sand, polyfiller and a lot of glue and paint. It came together amazingly and is by far the project that I'm most proud of for Armies on Parade. I was incredibly lucky to take home the silver medal from our games workshop for this display. So after my night home project, I need to decide what I want to do for 2021 Armies on Parade. I've got two real options. My first is my Ultramarine Army, finishing it, making a board, and maybe going with that palace theme that I kind of missed out on doing a couple of years ago. The other option are my dwarves. These would be Tempest's Eye, a city in the cities of Sigma in the realm of fire. One of the really cool things about Tempest's Eye is that it's on a huge mountain, and so it might be really fun to play about with verticality, with walkways and platforms. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and if you have any comments or suggestions or ideas for me, please leave them down below. Uh, if not, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.